So ladies and gentlemen, FabFilter Pro C2 represents one of the tools I personally really enjoy using. Since I'm a mesh engineer, Pro C2 is also included in some of my meshing chains, besides all the cool compressors, if I can call them like that. Now the reason I like using Pro C2 is not only because it's made by FabFilter and very well known company for their plugins, because it's actually very useful and it has some of the features you can't really find on other compressors. So this video will be dedicated to showing you some of the hidden and the secret features people not usually use on this compressor. So let's dive into the video and let me show you some of the cool features. So the very first feature I would like to cover within Pro C2 is the input and output level pen. Now this is not your wet and dry pen, this is located here when it says input and output pen. These knobs are mainly used when you want to compensate globally for any loudness differences, but you also have, as I said, those input pen and the output pen knobs that basically let you determine the amount of compression between the left and the right channel. This can be useful in many many situations, so my main reason for mentioning this feature is because I don't see a lot of people using this and it's a very very useful feature. I also don't see people using this mix slider located here at the bottom. As you can see I'm starting from my own preset from my Pro C2 pack called Calmaster where I featured this specific adjustment right here which is the wet knob set at 150%. This mix slider lets you basically mix between the dry and the process signals. However, it, this slider ranges from 0 to 200% instead of only 100%, which means that you can even double the amount of processing, in this case compression, by setting it greater than 100%. So let's listen to the differences before and after. I started snapping when I found the Lord like when Thanos got all the infinity stones I'm standing for Christ cause he sits on the throne The Lord is my shepherd, I'm never alone He reigns forever and ever, that's probably a part of the reason I never seen snow huh, That makes sense, rather be alone than have fake friends Jesus brought me back from the dead Now you probably use this wet gain and this dry gain But have you used this wet pen and the dry pen as I did here? Again, this is another preset of mine called Sides in Action Why? Because this specific control enables me to balance between the mid and the side information in those compression, so I'm basically able to perform mid-side compression within Pro C2. The results you can achieve with this is, for example, greater stereo image, which I did here, without actually losing any of the mid information, basically expanding the stereo field. Let's listen to how this sounds before and after. I started snapping when I found the Lord like when Thanos got all the infinity stones I stand up for Christ cause he sits on the throne The Lord is my shepherd, I'm never alone He reigns forever and ever, that's probably a part of the reason I never seen snow huh, That makes sense, rather be alone than have fake friends Jesus brought me back from the dead Now people visualize Pro C2 in a very simple way However, I like approaching it very complex, since this plugin is complex if you want it to be. If you select this sidechain section, a window like this will pop up, of course, without all of these adjustments I have here within my preset. You'll notice this audition button right here. It's a very simple feature, but not many people are using it. If you adapt using this feature, your compression and everything will sound much different and much better. What this button actually does? Once you enable the button, it enables you to listen to the filtered signal that will be used to actually trigger your compressor. It's a great way of learning what actually triggers the compression to work in a certain way. So now let's monitor what happens when I click this audition. Basically, we'll be able to hear what triggers the compressor. I started snapping when I found the Lord like when Thanos got all the infinity stones I stand up for Christ cause he sits on the throne The Lord is my shepherd, I'm never alone He reigns forever and ever, that's probably a part of the reason I never seen snow huh, That makes sense, rather be alone than have fake friends Jesus brought me back from the dead On top of this you can also adjust the sidechain level Which is again a highly creative thing to do but even more creative thing to do is to use this stereo link. This slider sets the amount of stereo linking for the trigger input signal. To keep it very simple, it detects between regular stereo processing and the mid only or side only processing. The best way to adapt to using this is trying it over and over again until you notice the difference what it does. You can switch to mid to side, mid to side, sides to mid. A bit complex feature, it takes time to adapt, but once you do, your compression will sound much different. Another cool feature you can use within Pro C2 that will definitely elevate the way you use Pro C2 on drums is using this vocal style on drums. Hear me out, 
I'm not talking trash. Vocal style is primarily designed to push the vocals up front, but why would it be a mistake if we use it on drums? The preset I have here is featured within my Pro C2 pack, it is called the Drum Aggressor 1. Why Aggressor? Because this preset made the drums sound much punchier and much more upfront in the mix. I'm using fast attack, fast release. This vocal style gives you a fixed ratio and I'm using 2 milliseconds of look ahead time while keeping my mix knob at 130%. Notice the differences before and after. They're magnificent. So there you go, Fabfilter Pro C2 is again an incredible and very amazing tool. And as you could hear, Pro C2 pack that we made and the presets sound definitely amazing. This means that our Pro C2 pack is available at the shop. Definitely make sure to get the pack. By getting the pack you're also supporting the brand. You're investing in all the gear and the content you're about to see from us. Thank you very much for the support and looking forward to your feedback on the Pro C2 pack.